Chat, when the heck did Spotify get an AI DJ? That's wild. <clears throat> when did they get an AI DJ? We're going to try it out. We'll see what they play. Um, so yeah, we're building the Cupid 65 tonight. Uh, I just realized that the left side LED that runs in series is uh, is broken off. So I don't think the left side of the PCB is going to light up for like the side lighting, but the right side should. I noticed that when I initially plugged it in. And then, and then I got it out again today and it was like just hanging off. So it must have been like that. <laughs> yo, yo, what up, Lube? Sounds like a skill issue? Pretty much. Pretty much. You already know. I don't know what happened. I just got it and it was, it was, uh, fucked up. And it looks like, um, there's like leads coming. I don't know. It's kind of jank anyway. It looks like there's like glue around these things. I can see why they get knocked off. It should be a pretty quick build. I have um, stabs already lubed. So I'm just going to pop them in. And then I'm probably going to reuse these stabs on another build. Since I have to send this back. It has flex cuts. Surely it is fine. Uh, I don't know. That might be one thing that I don't like. These flex cuts. And another thing I, I can already see that I don't like is the gasket placement. Um, I don't like gaskets placed near the space bar. It makes it sound weird. I guess this is supposed to be... How's this going? Oh, this is to block like the light. Yeah, those, those are the two issues I see so far, but I don't know. We'll see. I got these chaos switches that I have no idea what they are. I wasn't sending any information on them. Um, <clears throat> I tried looking them up, but I couldn't find them. I don't know if you guys seen these switches before. Um, Like if I just didn't put gaskets here. This one might be fine. The one to the right, this one right here in the middle is the one that I'm like concerned about. You might be able to just not use it. I don't, I don't know how that's going to mount, but yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this one. <clears throat> so we'll see. Hot swap, and we got the stabs lubed already. It's going to be a quick build. Easy peasy. Yeah, it's gonna, this is going to be like a speed run build. Um, we just got to pop the switches in, and we're good to go. I don't know if I should use... There's PME foam, but like I don't like using that on my PCBs. I think I might just use the case foam because I have heard that this board sounds a little hollow. So we're just going to go straight for what we know sounds good. So I don't, <clears throat> so I don't waste anybody's time, you know? <clears throat> oh. I don't know if I can do this. Oh yeah, Lube, do you gotta, um, if you guys didn't know, we recently just partnered, um, with Lube Switches. I'll have a, uh, did I, I can't remember if I, did we set one up? We did set one up. 
I will, I will, I should have, I'm pretty sure I entered the thing. I entered the, uh, I'm going to get the link for you guys. I can't remember what I did anymore. Works got me fucked up. They're, uh, they're trying to chase like end, end of the quarter quota. And it's like, they're just like pushing everything and anything they can. So now I'm like brainwashed. All right, let's see. Is that not copy and paste? Copy. Perfect. You guys can now use exclamation point sponsors. Lube switches it is in there. I just need to add the um image. Ooh, damn, this AI DJ is, uh, it's pretty lit. Wonder if this will update right away. No. I gotta add. Yo, Hog, what's popping? But yeah, we are now officially partnered with Lube Switches. You guys can get the code either in my Discord or uh, exclamation point sponsors. Um, I'm super excited to work with them. They have a bunch of stuff um, releasing soon that I'm really excited about. All right, chat. Where'd I go? Cool. Save. Oh, let's take that out. Unfortunately, I don't think Calamity Cables is uh, a thing anymore. Is Key Lab still up? I haven't heard from them. Yep, I still got their desk mats up. Oh, 33% off. <clears throat> All right, chat. We're back. I think I need another one of these tabs. I bet you my cat's got it. A TX stab is like a like a one use thing. <clears throat> like does the does the does those things get worn out? Nice, I found my cutters. Well, shit. <clears throat> we should be fine. Do we actually need another one? Fuck. 
My brain's like, I have to do the right thing. Don't do it fucking half ass. I thought I had a bunch of like blue ones. We'll just, uh, we'll take it from this kit. Let's watch, there's probably nothing. Uh, I don't think I use these. Yeah. Do you guys use TX tabs? Cool. All right, we'll put some we'll put some lo-fi on for you guys. Damn, shit makes me want to fall asleep. Chat, what do you guys want to listen to? This is what we're listening to. All right. Flex cuts should be interesting. No, no, no PCB foam. No case foam or no uh, PE foam. We shall see. And hopefully these chaos switches sound good. They remind me of the Wu Chase switches with the little diffuser. Blues? What do you mean blues? So how has everybody's day been? What's everybody been up to? I saw the Ori CLS extras went live, but then like, I was trying to get one. Then there was problems. Like the website was fucked up with PayPal. So maybe it's just not meant to be. Seeing what I need for smaller business license for possible. Ooh, nice. What are you, what are you thinking about doing? I think there's football on tonight. Mead. Yo, a full scale mead. You know what's funny is um I ran into somebody the other weekend that was um into mead. She's like a honey um she's like a beekeeper. 
And she just makes me... Why is Mead like blowing up out of nowhere? The honey wine. And he was telling me a few things. Ooh, about business or about like starting your own mead business. Sorry, guys. I'm listening to some techno today because your boy went to the gym and the pre-workout is not wearing off. What are these switches? I have to see what what is needed. Ah, uh, okay. It shouldn't be too complicated, right? I need the specs on these switches. I couldn't find anything, even on their website about these. But I don't know. I have I have a Hercules that we still have to build. It's uh sitting in the closet. Fuck. This needs another stab. <sighs> Why is this a full? I thought this was a 65%. Oh, but it doesn't have the. Okay. Okay. That's my bad. Oh, I have this set right here. Me's always been around, but I guess in certain areas it's picking up. Yeah, when I was in um, Georgia, there was like a legit mead shop, which was pretty crazy. I I wanted to taste test, but I I, uh, I we didn't like there was people already at the counter, and I didn't want to like talk to them. Typical, you know, East Coast person. I didn't want to make conversation. I just kind of wanted to try it and, and leave. But I know down south, I get caught up talking to people for like three hours. Nothing wrong with that. It's just. I'm used to I'm used to Jersey. Where people are just like, all right, go fuck yourself. All right, I wonder if I could take some of these out and just slip it. Is this plate really that tight? Damn. All right, we got to loop one freaking stab.
Uh, but I would say I have long journey for mine to perfect before I can even think about producing. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm sure that I'm sure perfecting your batches like just doesn't come under, uh, come up, uh, come over under night. I don't know what I'm saying. A lot of mass bottles are usually about 12%. There's some bit stronger, but anything I would say in the 20 is fortified. And then you could make bourbon. In the South, you talk to people even when tasting. Yeah. I mean, maybe after a few tastings, then yeah, for sure. I'd probably talk to people. But it was like fucking hot as hell and I was miserable. I still need to perfect it. I'm sure it's still really good. I've always wanted to try meat. I've never tried it. I ain't distilling. <laughs> you don't want to be a, a bootlegger? You don't want to be prohibition error? Oh, I can make shine for personal consumption. It's legal. Oh, really? I have some moonshine. It's pretty good. Is there any new boards that anyone's interested in? I haven't seen much. I haven't seen many boards. Honestly, haven't done much research lately. There's been like very few. It's like very dry right now. I'm waiting for frost switch to uh to deploy. I need I need GMK frost switch. That is a must have. Oh yeah, I also saw Redline was on sale like 40% off or something. Over at uh over at OmniType. I don't know, it was like a 4 hour flash sale or something. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hog, I'm definitely, I got you. Damn, TX stabs clicking tight. All right, let's steal the uh, the little clips. That's one thing that's annoying with TX stabs is that I lose these fucking clips. If I take the stabs out, 
I'm going to lose the clips. I already lost one. I lost two. What the fuck? It's a sign. Use Duroc stabs because they screw in. It's crazy. I think those things are supposed to pop off. Hell yeah. <clears throat> oh, what was this? Um... I think this is what I used to listen to. All right, let's get these switches back in. You know, a little hiccup there, but we're all good. We're all good. We're back in. Chat, you know what I've been, what I've been playing a lot is COD. I'm like addicted to COD. I was playing Apex for a little bit with my friends, but it's kind of getting boring. So I, I'm back on COD. I saw there was a new one coming out, Modern Warfare 3. Yo, I got, I was playing COD earlier before stream. Um, and I got freaking one hit, one hit. I got one piece sniped. I didn't know that was a thing. Absolutely bodied. There's these silicone things in here that I'm not sure what they're for. I think they might act as uh, standoffs. All right, we could use this side now. Oh yeah, I forgot to listen to this album. We'll check it out. All right, easy peasy. We can clear the desk off, take apart the Cupid.
Is it magnetic? The uh. Whoever had this board before me, like, put all kinds of weird shit on here. Fucking fingerprints and boogers. Yo. What up? I can tell when my cats are on my desk. Especially when I have... A black desk mat. Next size up. Hey, how was CAD Labs? What do you mean, how were they? How was CAD Lab when they did your corn? They were doing good, quick. Um, I'm not sh I don't honestly don't remember. Quality of work, 10 out, 100 out of 10. Oh, this is the battery. All right, what are we doing here? Are we bu we're building. Speed, duration, I'm not sure, but I but I know their quality is 1000 out of 10. I love it. Love everything they did. Powder coated wipe that I shipped and it looked cool bear but also yeah you should you should have them redo it definitely recommend them to do that you could also if you don't want anno you could also have um lube switches i believe they do seracoding Actually, Cerakote's actually stronger. I'm assuming these two screws are for this. So do we have to take this out to put this in? Phillips. I was like, wonderful, this shit's stripped. How does this work? Which way does this go? Ah! Interesting. So this is how you get the daughter board on. Oh, I've never seen. I 
Oh, those, those, don't, those don't look like it mounts very well. <clears throat> yeah, Anno, Anno, I mean, Cerakote should be a lot stronger than Anno. It'll have a different, um, like, finish and look to it and feel, but pretty sure Cerakote's stronger. Uh, it aligns pretty well. Um, I believe this one in like this. It's pretty cool. I've never seen something like that before. It's nice that I don't have to change out the tip. All right, how does this work? I don't think what the easiest way is here. This is definitely a little awkward. Right? Then this. This is definitely awkward. Oh. Yeah, we got LEDs on the right, just not on the left. Because that one was broken off. I think I'm doing this right. I think I got a good plan here. Um, that can go like that. Then this. Um... Who built the blue? Who anybody know who built the blue one? Oh, I don't like that. I'm assuming that's it, right? Nope.
Screw it on. Hurry up. Oh, shit. We didn't put the... Bits received. Thank you very much. Who sent some bits? Hog, thank you for the 100 bits. Sheesh. Appreciate you, fam. Persistence is key. Yeah, so it looks like the bottom case like doesn't really go on, but looks like the gaskets get a little bit compressed. Yeah, I'm already a f I'm already not a fan of this bottom. And the assembly process is kind of wonky. Um, I think it's like a little overcomplicated with the with the cable with the battery. I mean, me personally, I could do without wireless because I don't have Bluetooth on my computer anyway, so I would never use wireless. All right, so I was sent two different kinds. They're the same. Okay. Press in feet, not bad. My f my favorite press in feet are the Gion Works. Favorite press in feet I've ever used. Very easy. The uh like clipping them in is a little bit more like satisfying. And I feel like they go in a little bit better. All right. <laughs> hey, yo. The um, Zoom 65 that I posted today also had switches. Has switches similar to this. Oh yeah, and it looks like they added pocket flaps to this. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool to see the pocket flaps um, 
featured in bags now. It's a whole um, accessory separately because before you just kind of had to like cram shit. You had to just like, you know, cram shit in here, but now you could be a little bit organized. Things could be separate from, you know, your PCBs and your plates from up here. So I think it's, it's, it's a nice little, it's a nice little touch to have. And it's not that hard to add. All right, so this is magnetic. I should just drop in. Boom. So we're going to be putting some GMK keycaps. We're going to be using, uh, I believe it's GMK Lunar. I think the last time I used this set was on my Constellation. I don't know if you guys remember that board. From AE Boards. I was doing, up, doing some little cleanup real quick and then we'll put these caps on. We'll get a sound test going. This set should work with this. I might, however, might have to get the shift key. Got to get more of those containers to put my to put my keycaps in, especially my beloved GMK keycaps. Oh, this yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get the. Uh, Oh, is this like this too? Yes, it is. Same same setup as the uh as the constellation. Besides this full right right shift. I heard that the modifiers don't sound this good on sound that good on this board. So we'll find out. Seven, eight, nine. We're getting there, chat. <sighs> Hello, come back. Is that a cat on my toes? Oh, it's a moose. Saw this fluffy little tail go behind my desk. I gotta find Apollo. I have no idea where it is. For some reason, my brain is mixing up control and alt. My brain wants alt to be on the right.
What should we put on the right side? Alright, let's go find Oh the battery must have just died. Or maybe oh nope, came back on. I'm gonna go find Apollo, I'll be back. Ha. Hmm. Oh. I feel like that's like an artisan holder. Oh, look, there's a cat. <laughs> She's just staring off into the abyss, thinking about how she can eat me. Damn, this potato dust. It would probably work a lint roller. All right, let's do a sound test. Filters off. So yeah, this is the Cupid. This is the Cupid 65 um, polycarb plate. Chaoser, Chaosera. Is that how you say that? There's the company. Chaosera switches. Unknown lube. It just seems like factory lube. I opened one up. It looked like there was lube on the uh, the feet or the little legs. Uh, TX stabs and topped off with GMK Lunar or GMK Apollo. Sorry, and it has to be plugged in. So I forgot.
Interesting. This board could be better. Few things. Few things wrong. I could definitely tell that these switches aren't properly lubed. They sound really plasticky. Plate the plate would have been better if it was alu. There is a little bit of flex from the flex cuts, not bad. Don't mind it. Um litter on little little on the stiffer side, but these modifiers sound like I'm like it's hitting shorter. Like it's almost like a long pole or something. But they don't sound good. Like this one, I barely get any throw on it, which is really weird. That's so weird. Like it doesn't travel as far. I build I didn't build this wrong. Yeah, the the switches kind of sound like cheap plasticky. Space bar sounds solid. Side profile action. I don't know if, if you guys can see that. But it is shining around this. This is really cool. I like what they did. Is this like a sticker? It's like what they did on the Heracles. Yeah. Um, the press-in feet were a little weird to get in. I don't know. Definitely some improvements on this board. I like the design, but the design reminds me of a board that, that I've seen already. Ah, <sighs> fuck. What was that cable company called? Zap Cables. They did a keyboard. What was the keyboard called? See if I can go on their IG and find it. Ah. These are terrible. Uh this board. It's exactly the same board. But this was uh uh sixty percent. The bumper. That's what it was called. The bumper. It reminds me of the bumper. Practically same design as a bumper, but in a 65%. And, uh, yeah. Is this secure? I don't know. Yeah, this, this shift key is really weird. I wonder how many people got in. I like this. This was, this was really cool to see. Uh, dual... Dual screws um, to mount in this little Type C housing or this daughter board housing, and it just slides out. Um, that was pretty cool. Hot swap PCB flex cuts on the hot swap PCB, definitely something different. It's definitely bouncy. I might, I might have, I might switch out the switches to be honest. What are those lights on the on this? It's a uh, switch lighting. It looks very um like diffused. Like it looks very very nice. I don't know if the PC plate helps with I mean I, I guess not because the PC Well, I guess it is shining through the PC plate a little bit. But the PC plate is definitely diffusing this. The switches are diffusing it very nicely. Um, there's a little bit of side lighting around the ring right here. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if I like the sound. The sound just isn't for me, and I don't want to load this thing with a lot of foam because that's just not me. 
Yeah, I mean, you could always turn the RGB off. I usually turn it off if, if it has it, unless it's like a polycarp bottom or it has like... Oh, this would have been cool. Maybe like the same... I, I One thing I don't like is that I can move this around. There's a weird tolerance on this. It would have been nice to see a better tolerance, but it would have been cool to see the same lighting effect around here on the sides, maybe a little bit brighter, and uh, around this thing. That would have been pretty cool. Yeah, because you can't really... I mean, I can see it. But it's like very faint. You guys can see when it like flashes the blue. And another thing I don't like is the seam on the bottom, even though you don't see it, it's on the thing. But there was a there was a really there's a really nice weight right here. Like a PVD weight. That would have been nice to see on like uh see on the underside. But yeah, I think that's it for tonight, guys. Um, today, wow, today's freaking Thursday already. Um, I'll see you guys next week. We let me see if they announce this board before I before I say it. The Zoom, the Zoom sixty five v two Soul Lands collab. They did they did release that some information on that. You guys can check out the Geek Hack um and Melatrix's Discord. I have that board. If you guys like Soul Lands and definitely pick it up. The Zoom 65 V2 is definitely a really nice board. Okay, yeah, they did. The the Zoom 98. I have a Zoom 98. Maybe we'll be building that next week. Um 104 key. I got to figure out what switches. If I have enough switches for that. But I do have a Zoom 98. It's right here. And it looks sick. It's honestly really cool. I think you guys are going to like it. Um, I did like on the Zoom 65 V2 how they did the chamfering. The chamfering looks pretty sick. And then after that, I don't think I have any more boards being sent to me. Oh, I did get this. This is live. The Pixie. Pixie looks pretty cool. Um got a white one. But yeah, I'm gonna be I'll probably do like a little Instagram video on the Pixie. It looks pretty cool. Modular with little knobs. Maybe I can incorporate this in um some of the editing that I do. I do like my macro pads. I use this one a lot. This one's probably my favorite. Expensive, but my favorite. It just looks sick. I really like the... I should have got the chrome. The chromed one. Oh, if you guys didn't know. Um, Captain Sterling switches. The Ice Latte switches um, are available for pre-order on Dan Keebs. If you guys want to use my code at checkout. That would be much appreciated. If you guys did want to pick up one of this... These uh, Cupid 65s, exclamation point Cupid 65. Um, what else we got? Oh, we're we're now partnered with Lube Switches, so you guys can use my code over at Lube Switches. Um, new cables. They got they got the. I'm gonna show you guys. They got this really sick cable. Um. Oh, Pine Switches are available. I'm gonna be releasing a sound test with that. I built. Uh, my Zoom TKL with the pine switches. I gotta get caught up on a lot of shit. I'm a little behind. Um, where are, where art thou cable? Ah, let me switch. Yes, the Lindy. The Lindy cables are so hot. I love the I love the connectors on them too. Like the USB connector right here. Like instead of having like a like usually what it is is like it's like metal. Like all the other custom cables, it's like metal, and then they just put heat shrink 
Instead, this has like this nice rubber buffer on it. I like it. And Limo, real Limo connectors. But you guys can now use my code um, over at Loop Switches, Dutch KB at checkout. There's a smoke variant. It's hot. I, I just like the protective material over the USB connectors. Like, that's so sick. This is so cool. Like, I hope to see more more of that because I'm tired of... It, the heat shrink just looks cheap. Just look, to me, it just looks cheap. But yeah, Lindy Cable. Um, DMG, they have a bunch of... Uh, custom cables pre pre custom cables um for your favorite gmk sets a bunch of hand loop switches um nebulas i've tried nebulas i really like them pine switches i've really liked um yeah they also have um where are they some new con or ce concrete or cement, um, cement items, cement coaster. It's crazy. It's just wild. It's like it's like a me it's like a medium that I haven't seen before. Um, and coasters like you usually get like resin, or it's like machine metal or something crazy. Here's like another like a tool tray if you guys are interested. Um, just kind of like rustic, pretty cool looking. Cement keycap. Have you guys seen a cement keycap? Oh, what the frick? Do I have to get do I have to get Crocs now? That's pretty lit. They're they're literally thinking of everything and I love it. And I'm happy that I'm uh partnered with them. Hopefully I can show you the value in their products. Um because obviously I'm I'm backing them. I don't have Crocs. My one of my best friends, he has Crocs and uh, he swears by them. That's all he wears is his Crocs. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for tonight. I will see you guys on Tuesday. I hope everyone has a great weekend. Don't spend all your money on uh, on Keebs. You look like a Croc guy, especially to wear in the gym. That would be lit. That would be actually pretty comfortable. I wear... Um, I have these like Nike free run uh shoes they're kind of like stretchy sock material it's pretty weird but they're super comfy and they're like breathable so like my feet don't like sweat like crazy um but yeah i'll see you guys tuesday maybe we'll build the zoom 98 unless i have to build it off stream i should be doing a review on that i'll be coming out with a review on the cupid um and my thoughts of maybe what could be approved, but it, the group buy is already happening. So, um, so yeah, we'll see what else. Um, yeah.